Introduction to Evolutionary Medicine. Our learning objectives for this video are to one, explain how evolutionary medicine differs from a more traditional approach to medicine, and to two, understand four key features of evolutionary medicine and learn how they could be applied to help us improve our understanding of more general biological concepts. When trying to understand and treat human health, most of modern medicine focuses on studying the underlying biological mechanisms such as genetics, cellular mechanisms, anatomy, and physiology. And although this mechanism-focused perspective has led to the development of effective treatments such as drugs, vaccines, and surgeries, nothing in biology makes sense except in the light of evolution. Also known as Darwinian medicine, Evolutionary medicine applies modern evolutionary theory to our understanding of human health and disease. In doing so, not only can we learn about how the biological mechanisms that underlie human health work, but we can also begin to learn about why certain diseases and disorders exist in the first place. This is a relatively recent perspective, largely pioneered by George Williams and Randolph Nessie in their 1991 paper, The Dawn of Darwinian Medicine, and later in their follow-up 1996 classic, Why We Get Sick. All right, now let's look at four of the key features of evolutionary medicine and discuss why they make it an ideal field for learning about some of the core biological concepts often introduced during undergraduate university studies. Number one, evolutionary medicine is integrative. Evolutionary medicine involves the integration of all subdisciplines of biology, such as genetics, cell biology, ecology, development, and of course, evolution. By learning about topics from this integrative perspective, it is easier to understand how each of these different biological subdisciplines relate to one another in natural systems such as human health. Number two. Evolutionary medicine is focused on humans. Evolutionary processes have shaped who we are as a species and continue to do so every waking moment. Evolutionary medicine helps us learn about the relevance of biological evolution in the human species by focusing on research questions that involve human health. Number three, evolutionary medicine is comparative. Humans are an animal species on the grand tree of life, and every species that exists on Earth today all descended from a single common ancestor that originated about 3.5 billion years ago. Through a universal perspective of life, we can compare features among species to help us learn important aspects of our own health. The image here is called a phylogenetic tree, which represents the evolutionary relationships between different groups of organisms. Coined by Dr. Barbara Natterson Horowitz, zubiquity refers to the idea that from a biological perspective, all species on Earth share more similarities than they do differences. So for example, all of life on Earth is comprised of cells that contain self-replicating DNA that allow organisms to reproduce and persist over many generations. We also share a single common ancestor and the diversity across the tree of life we looked at has been shaped by the same evolutionary mechanisms all the way from bacteria to humans. Thus, studying non-human animal models can teach us a whole lot about human health. For example, all multicellular organisms are at risk of developing cancer. The phylogenetic tree to the right displays how common cancer mortality risk is amongst a variety of different mammal species. Thus, using other species as a model for studying cancer we can gain a better understanding of human cancer and even generate new hypotheses that we can test in humans. Number four, evolutionary medicine has implications for how we understand and treat human health. At many institutions, evolutionary medicine is often treated as a niche specialized field rather than a core component of health science curriculums. If you're a student aspiring to be a doctor or to broadly work in a healthcare related field, this perspective can greatly benefit your future practice. One reason biological mechanisms dysfunction and cause harm to individuals in the first place is because most modern humans live in vastly different environmental conditions than that of ancestral humans. For example, modern diets are much higher in sugar and many of us are frequently exposed to harmful chemicals such as those from cigarette smoke. An evolutionary perspective can lead to the development of novel treatments 
by considering these different environmental conditions in which dysfunctioning mechanisms may have adopted in. All right, to summarize this video, evolutionary medicine is a field that applies modern evolutionary theory to our understanding of human health and disease. Furthermore, evolutionary medicine is integrative, it's focused on humans, it's comparative, and it has major implications for how we understand and treat human health. Well, that's all for today, and we'll see you next time.